have a light for you. Yeah, I'm not being hurt. All yeah. rough and shit, they all rough and shit, yeah. all yeah. My name is Daryl Smith, the uh, co-founder of the Luggage Store Gallery and with my partner Lori Laser, the innovators of this project, the Tenderloin National Forest, or what it's become known as. We were a small group of residents who took over the ground floor and wanted to open up a space for art and performance and I uh, looked immediately to the alley itself and its potential for the rest of the residents that live around it, that I figure is somewhere around 300 in four buildings. The idea that, um, that low-income people uh, should have a great, beautiful place to live around. And it was the inspiration uh, for our engagement with this alley and extending the programming from the interior space outside uh, to do public art and performances and later food uh, events such as uh, Fresh from the Oven that Amara Tabor Smith uh, has been organizing here once a month. Folks are coming together and eating together in here in the Tenderloin National Forest. And it's been really beautiful. Um, they're potluck. I always cook and Daryl usually will get, you know, something to put in the oven. We just eat together and hang out and have music. We've had DJs, we've had just, you know, chilling and Erlen's over here playing guitar this time, so. We just, it's about coming together and sharing food. We started talking to Daryl and he got interested in this oven idea. Okay, it's mobile, it's temporary. You can actually slide a forklift under there and lift the whole thing up and drive away. At the first Street Theater Festival, there was the, the timber frame and then I invited people who wanted to to participate in the waddling, which is the weaving it within the timber frame. And it had a different roof at that point. I used all the, um, the greenery from the tops of the bamboo to make like a kind of cabana-like roof. It was a hip roof with, with uh, four sides. Um, and then the idea for the, the planted roof came from Daryl and his brother. His brother worked on it a lot. It's also, it's a good study of what kind of weeds grow in the Bay Area too, because there's all kinds of things that are spontaneously growing in there and I think last year there was a, a pot plant in there and <laughs> I don't know if it was like a seed that rolled out of someone's window or something. You can hide it but it's sewn to that and then this is sewn mm -hmm. into this. My name is Michael Swain. Once a month I come out here and mend clothes for free for the neighborhood and the new name for this little little mini location is the Free Mending Library. I like the idea of a library because you realize that anyone is welcome. National Forest. National Forest. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. The whole idea of it started back in 1989. We moved forward with a lease with the city eventually after a lot of demonstration of what, what could happen here. In 1990, he had an art show here in Ali, and that was just a cement floor as Ali, and then no mural or nothing, just bare 
uh, the you know Ari way. been uh, incrementally finding funding uh, over the years since then to just expand on some of the ideas and actually even push beyond some of the expectations for what could happen out here. Yeah, I think that, you know, what they all have been trying to do here for a long time is to make this a special place, you know, different alley, a different type of urban space. And this is just one more contribution to it. Some of the foliage, some of the trees are, you know, speak to other parts of the world. The Tenderloin being on this place um, that is so international, so layered multiculturally, linguistically, you know, just we wanted all, we wanted these cultural um, references to somehow get um, woven into the fabric of what is this, this place. Right?